Hi, I'm Tommy Lindstraw, founder of Green Badger. Today, we're going to take a look at environmental product declarations, or EPDs, and how you can earn points using them under Leeds version 4 and version 4.1. First, what is an EPD? Environmental product declarations are independently verified reports based on the life cycle assessment, or LCA, of the product. The LCA studies must have been conducted according to a set of common rules known as Product Category Rules, or PCRs. These must then be peer-reviewed. EPDs are managed and created by program operators, organizations that ensure that the EPDs meet the various requirements. In the U.S., you'll see those from UL, SCS, ASTM, or NSF, though there are a few others that are coming around. Broadly speaking, there are three main types of EPDs that I come across, industry-wide or product-specific internally reviewed or product-specific externally reviewed. What's the difference, you may ask? Industry-wide EPDs are generic for certain product types, such as Type X gypsum board or concrete. For version 4, it doesn't really matter who the manufacturer is as long as they are a member of the association that generated the EPD. As you can see here, this EPD is from the U.S. Gypsum Association, and anyone from North America who is a member can claim this for their product. Industry-wide EPDs are only worth a half product contribution under version 4. Under version 4.1, it is more stringent. The manufacturer must actually be included or listed by name in the EPD as a participant. You can see an example of that here. These count as one full product under version 4.1. Type 3 product specific EPDs are for a very specific product from a defined manufacturer. You'll see it pretty easily. This EPD is for Sherwin-Williams block filler. Nothing else, only this product. You can see it's clearly labeled for Sherwin-Williams and it's clearly labeled PrepRite block filler. Type 3 internally and externally reviewed just differ in whether an outside third party reviewed the information. You'll see it checked on an EPD pretty obviously, such as the case on this EPD, where there's a box that says internally reviewed and a box that say, says externally reviewed, and the externally reviewed is clearly checkmarked. For version four, internally reviewed are worth three quarters of a product, and externally reviewed are worth one product. For version 4.1, it is one product for internally reviewed and 1.5 products for externally reviewed. Lastly, EPDs need to demonstrate that they conform to ISO 14025 and EN 15804 or ISO 21930. You don't need to know what those ISO standards mean, but your EPD needs to say that they were done in accordance with them. We've seen a whole lot out there that say they meet ISO 14025, but don't reference EN 15804 or ISO 21930. These are getting comments from USGBC in the review process, though they've still been accepting them due to independent research with program operators. Here's looking at you, UL. So to recap, EPDs are independently verified reports based on the life cycle assessment studies. The LCAs must have been conducted according to a set of product category rules and then peer reviewed. The EPDs are managed and created by program operators, which are the organizations that ensure the EPDs meet the requirements, and you can always find that information on the first or second page. You'll need to note whether it is product specific, meaning that it's showing the specific product and brand, or whether it's industry wide. You'll need to verify whether it was internally or externally reviewed. And finally, you'll want to double check compliance with all of the ISO and EN standards. For more great content like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit getgreenbadger.com.